Hello and welcome to Infinity. In version 1.10 onwards, uh, the frequency separation function was expanded slightly, and uh, this is a look at using it for the landscape in this sort of stacked way of using the frequency separation. So let's get on with it. So the first thing we can do is go to filters and frequency separation. And here it divides into two layers, high frequency and low frequency, which is basically chopping up detail. And we'll go first to bilateral. And the bilateral blur is very good at retaining edges. And so what it's going to do is kind of, kind of work through this. But what we're going to get here is noise, but not edge. So if we want to do sharpening on it, we shouldn't do it on this side, because this is where the noise will be. And... We can play around with this, and but we're going to leave it where it is. So that is going to give us two layers here, one high frequency, one low. We're going to call this one bilateral noise, because that's what's going to be we're going to look at. But we'll leave it there for now. We'll come back to it a little bit later, because we're going to go to the next one here now. So that low frequency one. Again, and we're going to do frequency separation again. But this time we're going to do frequency separation here. And we want to sort out the edges because we're going to do a bit of... And it's kind of a novel way of doing sharpening here. So we're going to use Gaussian here. And we're going to go down to one pixel here. So we change that down to one. Roll the mouse, mouse wheel and it goes one pixel at a time. And just apply that. So now I'm going to say Gaussian edges. And it's not going to take out the full set of edges. Let's go in closer here to look at what this is doing. So if I take out the top two layers here, so you can see this is a bit blurred because effectively we've taken out the edge. In particular, we put it into this second layer here. And if I take out the bottom one, we can see here the edges which are appearing in here very faintly. And so what we can do is if we act on this, then we're going to bring up the edges, but it's only this grey layer. And in fact, if I, I can do this with curves. So if I bring up a curves layer here, you can see literally this is the histogram. It's one little spike in the middle. So if I increase the contrast, let's say I bring this in here, and bring this across here. And a trick with this, make sure it goes through the centre each time. It's going to make this higher contrast, which means the edges are going to be pulled out more. So if I put in the, the other layers first, you can see now, if I turn this curves on and off, it's actually improved the contrast of the, of the edges. Going a bit closer to this, if you look at this here, it's before and after. And in fact, I can pull this in even further. See, it goes a bit off first, but if I move it back in again so that it goes through the centre point, then it's even stronger. However, when we're doing this as well, notice the edges here, you're getting that sort of haloing effect at the edge. So there's a point at which you're going to say, I don't want to go any more there. You can play with curves a bit with this as well. So put in extra points, always making sure that it's kind of symmetrical and it goes through the middle point here. But find a place there which is enough. Again, that's looking a little bit on the heavy side, isn't it? So maybe I'll take off those points here. And uh, that's not too bad like that. Particularly when we move out and look at the rock before and after. So that's before, is that's before, and that's after. It's, it's distinctly sharpened it because we're working just on this grey layer with just a little bit of difference because we sliced out the edges effectively. What we can do look as well now is look in here, say, do you want to take out some noise? So if you look in the sky here, for example, the noise is going to appear more. We're not in this sharpening thing here, by the way, we've only pulled out the edges here, so we're going to get less of this. So I can use a denoise, denoise effectively that's going to look for things like that. So I'm 
turning this up, you can see the noise kind of drops right down because I've pulled out that from here. I could change that layer there when I was setting it up the bilateral. Um, however, in doing so, then that means there's less that you can use for the sharpening. So you've got to find a balance somewhere. But that's not bad for that. Now this layer will do a filters and frequency separation again. And we'll go to the third variation, which is the median. And what we're going to do with this is, let's go somewhere that we can see a little bit better here. Let's go up to this one and just zoom in a little bit more to this. And what we see here is that we've got an edge to this. But if we turn the radius up, look at what happens with median. In fact, let's turn off the layers above so you can see just the median effect. As we turn up, up the median, then you lose a lot of detail and it moves over to here. So here, you notice you've got colour coming over here. We want to use this side to adjust colour. So we don't want really colour going into there. So we're going to turn this down until the colour is is mostly there. You can leave a bit at the edges, isn't you? You've got to find some compromise. So there's edge over here, there's this sort of further edge detail, um, but over here is mostly colour. So if I apply that, I'll just call that just call that colour for now. But what we're going to do is put the rest back. So we've got the original picture set up now. Zoom right out again. And to work on the colour, we can use the bottom one, the very bottom one. So let's say that, put on just colour for now. And I'm going to do that with HSL. So I go to HSL here. And I'm going to use a, a picker here. So I click on one of the selectors here, click on picker and click somewhere in the rock. And now if I play with hue just a little bit, Notice I'm changing the hue of the rocks and it, you know, it's, nothing else is changing. So I can get myself a kind of nice old red rocks image here. Just a little bit more that way. And the sky is, is uh, it's a bit on the cyan side. So I'll just click on the here, click on the picker to adjust it more ac accurately and play with this. Yeah, let's turn that to just changing the hue to a more of a bluish blue than a, a cyan one. So we can make change that quite a bit. And this other one here, with the one in the middle, that medium one, what we can do with that is to go to just a curves again, but do a more general broad contrast adjustment on this. So I can turn up the brightness maybe just a little bit here and pull down the darkness board there to give a bit of more overall contrast. And so there we go. We've used all three types of frequency separation blur. And we can, if I click that one and shift click down to the bottom one there, you could group them, uh, but I can turn them on and off. In fact, what I'm going to have to do is go to history and sort of wind it all the way back. I should have separated out the original one. So there's the original picture and there's our adjusted one. And if we go in closer, we can see as well from the original, that's a bit more blurred and that's a bit sharper, a bit more contrasty. So that's it. Hope that was interesting. And thank you very much for watching.